Okay, hello everyone. Um, this is um, Kai, and um, today I would like to show you guys the um, the Asus TF three hundred T. Yeah, the Transformer three hundred with the new update to Android Jelly Bean four point two, and it is official from Asus. It's not um, any um, mod or anything like that. I don't know. Uh, all the hack and stuff. I don't know. It, it's from ASUS officially, and it rolled out um, yesterday or two days ago, I believe. Uh, and I just got it on my tablet last night. Uh, the process took me 20 minutes to install, and uh, it didn't took um, it did not took long. It did not take long to download the update. Um, so um, let's go right in there. So first you see on the lock screen, um, yeah first the wallpaper, um, the wallpaper does not come with the new update. I downloaded it myself and put it on there. So now you see the um, uh, lock screen widget, um, just like the Nexus 7 and Nexus 10 and uh, um, I'm sorry but I may be repeating um, there's a lot like like the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 10 I may repeat it a lot so I just want to say sorry first so here um, you can add widget uh, right now they have the calendar Gmail digital clock and Google now I don't have to add more but uh, that's basically it um, and uh, another thing is when you click here is for um, change the lock screen wallpaper um, if you have a Nexus um, with 4.2 then you already know that but I just want to show you guys around so um, now into the tablet this is the official uh, launcher of this tablet right now um, it's, it's not anything I downloaded from the Play Store it's not Nova Launcher it's not all those stuff it's the original one I mean not original but I mean um, it's a real thing Google is not an, a widget anymore it's now in the system and um, even though Asus got Jelly Bean I mean this tablet the um, Transformer got Jelly Bean before 4.1 it did not have the Jelly Bean um, theme the Jelly Bean um, interface anything like that but now with 4.2 it has all that um, so here the, the, bo the buttons are in the middle. Sometimes I still just click um, in the corner and then I just like oh crap uh, it's not there and now the not all the notifications are here on top this is for the um, uh, settings or something um, I heard about the um, two finger swipe on the Nexus but on this one it doesn't work like that I mean like it just on two different sides um, two finger doesn't work um, I don't know about that but yeah and now with 4.2 the clock has the stopwatch and the timer uh, I think this one's a timer this one's stopwatch and um, alarm so it's not like on 4.1 on 4.1 it did not have all that um, let me switch here okay um, that's for the clock and Another thing is um, the camera. Okay, I will just go to the camera. Um, they have a new camera. Um, I'll just move this so that the light is not in the way anymore. Um, oh, I have the camera pointing upward. That's why. Okay, so um, I'll just switch cameras so that it doesn't show anything and uh, let's see now ASUS has their own um, camera interface like um, it's pretty quick I mean it's easy if you want to switch um, between stuff like this but yeah basically they change it and on this side zoom in zoom out is it looks like the old one with but now the change to black and silver and stuff instead of uh, the blue button from Google the thing I don't like about this is 
it has no spheres uh, feature only normal and panorama um, I don't understand why I guess that um, spheres is only on Nexus devices and I guess that because um, on the uh, LG and Samsung they develop their own um, uh, spheres like uh, feature for their phones they don't have uh, spheres um, like on the Nexus um, uh, another thing about the camera is that um, now um, you have for the recorder right here it has um, a separate app for the cam recorder um, let me show you guys that so home um, look right here it shows the camera and the camcorder so they have two different apps now I think they did not have that before uh, I'm pretty sure about that and uh, yeah and in here everything's pretty smooth and they did not change a lot um, widget or anything the only thing about app that changed no let me see um, I noticed that now they have the Google setting I didn't see that before I don't know um, maybe it was there but I did not see it but yeah I did not see that before and another thing is um, the YouTube app the YouTube app is different now um, this before it was uh, with the black background and the 3D interface but now it's just white background and just like on the Nexus if you guys have the Nexus 7 or Nexus 10 um, I'm not sure about Nexus 10 but on Nexus 7 it's like this um, yeah let's just go back so um, let me see where I am so on lock screen, home screen. Um, there's not much um, different here. So the thing is now you cannot access them. You cannot change all the the power, the performance setting, and uh, GPS and stuff. So if you have to change, if you want to change those, you have to go to the setting. You cannot change it on the notification bar, notification tab anymore. So you go to setting. Um, if you want to, um, okay, Asus customized setting. It's, uh, there's a perf performance right here, system performance. So you have um, power saving mode, balance mode, performance mode, and it's here. So you have to take some time and go here and change. Um, there are some uh, Asus settings that are. Um, worth it I mean like uh, you can change something here and it's gonna make life easier um, I changed this one screenshot um, it's a capture screenshot by holding the recent apps key I mean like I think they already had it before but yeah I just want to show you guys that because I have that now just hold this one take screenshot easy um, another thing is the launcher um, when I first updated this one, it still had the 4.1 launcher from ASUS, but it gives you an option to change to uh, 4.2, and it says right here, switch to the original Jelly Bean 4.1 launcher because I already switched to 4.2. If you don't like 4.2, then you can switch back to 4.1, which is a good thing. Um, I believe so. So yeah and so for this tablet now I'll just do a quadrant to uh, show you guys in comparison to um, the old version of Android um, it's not much different and I'm going just to talk while the benchmark goes so yeah um, the tablet is smooth it's just like before and I don't notice anything different um, um, let me see I forgot what to say um, the speed is the same and the score um, should be the same the um, thing is um, Asus has not fixed the um, IO lag for this device uh, some of you may know um, the IO lag happens a lot on the TF um, pro, um, on the transformer prime the 300 and the 700 
So, um, I don't know why out there. Um, I hear some people saying it's because of the hardware, but some people say they used a different kernel or something on their um, TF300 and uh, it helps. But yeah, Asus has not fixed that on this device, so the IO lag is still there. So when I browse web, sometimes it lag and sometimes it lag when I watch video. I don't know if that's the case. I mean, like, I don't know if that's because of the IO lag, but that the score of the IO lag is still low like that. And here's the result. Um, so I, I have this in the balance mode and this here say your device it, it actually say 3396 3396 and it's pretty low I mean really um, the Nexus 7 has the same specs and it score 4000 this one score like this so all that is because of the IO, IO score I mean everything else perfect I mean graphics good and stuff but the IO score I don't know if you guys can see it, but the I.O. here on my tablet is 972, 972. That's pretty low. I mean, like somebody, I know some people, they have their I.O. on the same tablet up to 4,000, 7,000. Um, yeah, and that that's a lot better, and pretty much that's all because of the I.O. lag. So Asus has not fixed that. It's the same, but the good thing is that it doesn't make the tablet worse I mean sometimes you guys just worry about the update making the tablet worse but this is not the case it's still smooth like before and it has a new interface like Nexus uh, which I like I don't know if you may like it but still if you don't like it you can switch back to the old one um, okay let's just go no Google now you guys know about Google now just show quickly Google now um, So um, go to this. Uh, how tall is Osama bin Laden? Osama bin Laden is six feet five inches tall. Okay, well, that guy's really tall. I am five feet five. So yeah. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to know something else, um, if you guys want to know. Um, something else about um, this update and uh, how the tablet goes I mean like if I miss some information please comment below so that I can uh, answer you I mean like if you need the information but um, to wrap this up I say that this update is worth it it doesn't make the tablet any worse um, there's no um, improvement in the uh, quadrant score I lack either but yeah it's still the same. It has the Nexus interface. I mean, like the Jelly Bean, but it looks like a Nexus, so that's what I like. Um, some people just like vanilla Android. That's what they call, right? The stock Android. So now that's what you have. That's what you get for a new update. If you like the this stock Android, just get an update right away. Don't hesitate. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching. Um, peace out.